and B from the sides of triangle showed at minimum length of hypotenuse is A power 2 by 3 plus B power 2 by 3 power 3 by 2. Write down. Let A O B be right angled triangle having angle theta at vertex A such that point P is at distance A and B from sides of triangle from sides of triangle in triangle A L P and triangle P M B sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse this is angle ke samne wala perpendicular upon hypotenuse is AP so we get AP is equals to A upon sin and 1 upon sin is cosec theta. 1 upon sin is cosec. Now cos of theta is base upon hypotenuse. So base is PM, hypotenuse is PB. PM is P, has value B. So we get PB is B upon cos and 1 upon cos is sec of theta. Now hypotenuse is AB that is equals to AP plus PB. AP has value A cosec theta. PB has value B sec theta. Now differentiate it with respect to theta. Derivative of cosec is minus Cosec theta cot theta. Derivative of sec is sec theta tan theta. Clear? Now take the second derivative. First derivative of cot is minus cosec square plus cot as it is derivative of cosec is minus cosec theta cot theta plus b sec derivative of tan is sec square derivative of sec is sec theta tan theta clear up to here now in the next step open the brackets minus minus plus a cosec cube minus minus plus a cosec theta cot square theta plus b sec cube plus b sec theta tan square theta. Now put the first derivative equal to 0 to find the value of theta. dl upon d theta is equal to 0. So minus a cosec theta cot theta minus b sec theta tan theta. We can write cosec as 1 upon sin, cot as cos upon sin. Similarly, sec as 1 upon cos, tan as sin upon cos. So what we get? Negative sign will get cancelled. A cos square into cos, sin square into sin. So A sin upon cos is tan. So we get tan theta as a power 1 by 3. Here we have B. A upon B. Or we can say theta is tan inverse. A upon B. Power 1 by 3. If tan theta is a power 1 by 3, b power 1 by 3, tan is p upon b, perpendicular and base. 
Then we want to find the value of hypotenuse to find the angle sine and cos. So hypotenuse is equal to square root of perpendicular square a 1 by 3 square and b 1 by 3 square. Now we can find the value of sine and cos. So sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse a power 1 by 3 upon square root of a 2 by 3 b 2 by 3. Cos theta is b upon h b power 1 by 3 square root of a power 2 by 3 plus b power 2 by 3. Now we have to check the second derivative. Second derivative has value a cosec cube plus a cosec theta cot theta plus b sec cube plus b sec theta tan square theta. If we put the value of all these angles, when theta is tan inverse a b power 1 by 3. Cosec, cosec is 1 upon sine. So 1 upon sine, this term will be reverse cube a 2 by 3, b 2 by 3. It has power 1 by 2, but cube of this term, that is 3 by 2, upon a power 1 by 3, or this can be cube hoga. So, a and a will get cancelled. So, we are left with a 2 by 3, plus b 2 by 3, power 3 by 2, plus a cosec 1 upon sine, Term will reverse a 2 by 3 plus b 2 by 3 upon a 1 by 3. Cot is reverse of tan. Tan theta is a upon b. So that is b upon a power 1 by 3. Plus b sec cube 1 upon cos cube. So a 2 by 3 plus b 2 by 3 power 3 by 2. b 1 by 3 and 3 will get cancelled. Plus B sec is 1 upon cos A2 by 3 plus B2 by 3 upon B1 by 3 into tan square. So A2 by 3, B2 by 3. All have positive signs, so this value will be greater than 0. Therefore, L is minimum. Therefore, L is minimum when theta is equal to tan inverse A upon B power 1 by 3. Now we have to find the value of length of hypotenuse. A cosec is 1 upon sine. We have value of sine 1 upon sine plus B into sec 1 upon cos. So we get this value. Square root of a 2 by 3 plus b 2 by 3 is common. 1 minus 1 by 3. 3 minus 1, 2 by 3. Plus say 1 minus 1 by 3. So what we get? Power 1 by 2. Plus it has power 1. So a 2 by 3 plus b 2 by 3. 2 plus 1, 3 by 2. This is what we want to prove that length of hypotenuse is equal to this term. Now the next one. Then PQ, P 
PQ is equals to X minus 0, Y minus C. Or PQ square is X square plus Y minus C square. Find the value of Y from here is X square. Open the bracket A minus B whole square 0. We get this term. So either x is equals to 0, solve it by using quadratic formula, minus b, x, we do not have term of x, minus b plus minus b square minus 4a, c is minus 2c plus 1 upon 2a, 4 into 2, 8, so square root of 8 minus 2c plus 1 upon 4. plus minus 2c minus 1 2c minus 1 into 2 if we write this 2 in the square root we will write it as 4 so we get plus minus square root of 2c minus 1 upon 2 Square root of 2c minus 1 upon 2. Let this value, this is equals to alpha. So we have x is 0 and x is plus minus alpha. Now find the second derivative. 4 into 3, 12x square. Derivative of x is 1, so 2 into 2c minus 1. Minus 4c minus minus plus 2. When x is equals to plus minus alpha, x square. So square will always be positive. So this value is greater than 0. So z is minimum. When x is equals to plus minus alpha, z kya tha? pq square. Therefore pq is minimum. When x is equals to plus minus alpha, and value of PQ is equals to, we have PQ is equals to, PQ square is equals to X4 minus X square into 2C minus 1 plus C square. Put the value alpha here. x square minus x square minus c whole square x is equals to plus minus alpha so put alpha square whole square will be positive chai plus alpha ho ya minus alpha ho so now put the value of alpha 2c minus 1 by 2 2c minus 1 by 2 minus c so 2c minus 1 by 2 2c minus 1 minus 2c upon 2. 2c minus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 square. Take the LCM 4. 2 into 1. So 4c minus 3 by 4. 4c minus 1 by 4. This is the value of PQ square. So PQ will be square root of 4C minus 1 upon 2.
Now next one. Let AP and BQ be the two vertical poles. AP and BQ be the two vertical poles at points A and B. AP is 16 and BQ is 22 meter.
draw DP, DP and CQ perpendicular to AB. Side AB pe humne perpendicular draw kiye. Then these triangles will be similar. Triangle APD similar triangle BQC. Now we have drawn the perpendicular and taken this as X. In triangle APD hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So 100 minus X square that will be PD. In triangle BQC 10 square X square plus QC square. So QC is equal to 100 minus X square. Now area of trapezium. Half sum of parallel sides. A, B plus C, D into height. 1 by 2 AB is 10 plus 2X, CD is 10, PD is 100 minus X square square root. So what we get? Area is, take 2 common, X plus 10, 100 minus X square. Now DA upon DX, U into V rule, first as it is derivative of square root of x is 1 upon 2 square root of x. Derivative of 100 is 0 minus x square is 2x plus 100 minus x square derivative of x is 1 and 10 is 0. 2 will get cancelled. So minus x into x plus 10 upon square root of 100 minus x square plus square root of 100 minus x square. Now in the next step, take the LCM. DA upon DX. Square root of 100 minus X square minus X square minus 10X plus 100 minus X square. So minus 2X square minus 10X plus 100 upon 100 minus X square square root. Now put first derivative equal to 0. Take minus 2 common x square 5x. So x square plus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0. So factorize it. Plus 10x minus 5x. x common So x minus 5 and x plus 10 is equal to 0. So we get x as 5 and x as minus 10. But x minus 10 is not possible. Koi bhi side negative mein to nahi ho sakti. Therefore we get x as 5. Now find the second derivative. d square a upon dx square. U upon V rule here. V square. V into U dash minus 4x minus 10 minus U as it is into V dash 1 upon 2 square root of 100 minus x square minus 2x. Taking LCM here, 100 minus x square into square root of 100 minus x square. So 100 minus x square minus 4x minus 10 minus minus plus x into minus 2x square minus 10x plus 100. Now open the brackets minus 4 into 100 minus 1000 minus minus plus 4x square into x 4x cube minus minus plus 10x square minus 2x cube minus 
x square plus 100x upon 100 minus x square power 3 by 2. Minus 400 plus 100. 4 minus 2 plus 10x square. This will get cancelled. Minus 300x minus 1000 upon 100 minus x square power 3 by 2. Now we have to find the value at x is equal to 5. d square a upon dx square at x is equal to 5. 2 into 125. 3 into 5 is 15. Five square twenty five. So this term will be negative minus twenty five hundred plus two fifty. Second derivative is negative, therefore, area of trapezium is maximum. Therefore, Area of trapezium is maximum when x is equal to 5 and maximum area half 2x plus 20 into square root of 100 minus x square. Here is our formula. Area ki value here is the put the value x is equal to 5 here. x plus 10 x is equal to 5, 15 square root of 75, Area therefore in square units.